Let's talk a little bit about sugar bricks and how to install them. So I've got one of our sugar bricks here in our uh, packaging. And sugar bricks are a great way to feed this time of year if your hive still needs food. So if you know if you you know if it's still 75 degrees on average outside, you know if it's October, um, I, I feed syrup because the bees can store it more readily in the combs and they can utilize it more quickly. A sugar brick, they're gonna it's gonna take a little longer for them to eat, but you can put it directly on top of the cluster, which is what's important this time of year. So. Um, Sugar bricks are a great option if your hive still needs food uh, this late in the year. So I recommend feeding them, you know, mid-November uh, through late January is a great time of year to use sugar bricks. Uh, I love this one that Stan developed, which is the one that we sell because it has some protein in it. It's got, you know, lots of different vitamins and minerals in it. It's a great resource for the bees. I like it because it's also a form of insurance. So if you think your hive may not have quite enough food, it doesn't hurt just to throw a sugar brick on and let them eat it throughout the winter. So there's a number of different ways you can install a sugar brick. Um, you can put it directly on top of the hive. The big thing I look for is I really want it to be right where there are a lot of bees because your bees need direct access to this brick in order to use it. So, you know, we've got this hive and you probably can't see from the video very well, but there's a lot of bees all the way up in this top box. And so I want that sugar brick where the bees have easy access to it. If there's no bees in your top box, you might want to take the top box off. <laughs> um, and so I'm going to, there's a number of different things you can do. You can put down a sheet of newspaper and put the sugar brick on top of it. Um, I like to just put it directly on top of the top bars. Um, it's okay if it's a little crumbly. Sometimes I, I, I like it to be in, three or four different pieces because it gives the bees better surface access or more surface access to the brick. So I like it to be in a, num a handful of pieces and I'm gonna put it right in the middle, right on top of where the bees are clustering. And then you can take, we, we sell these, these are just an overwintering inner cover and it's a little bit deeper. As you can see, it's got a deeper opening. And so that allows plenty of space for those sugar bricks. And then you can put your telescoping cover right back up on top. Yeah, um, a shallow box also works. So if you just get a medium or a shallow box with no frames, that can work as a spacer. Um, if you, um, you can, I don't recommend it quite as much, but you can get um, a shallow box um, or a rim like this. You can, you can take a, a box and cut a couple inch rim and you can put the rim between two of your boxes and a sugar brick between two of your boxes. The reason I'm not always a fan of that approach is you're really separating your boxes um, and it's harder for the bees to cluster uh, when there's that gap in between them. So in general, I really like the sugar bricks to go directly on top of the hive just like this. Um, and if there's, you know, like I said, if this box were completely empty, then I would either pull it off and put the sugar brick, you know, on top of this box where there's more bees, or I would take this box, if it's full of honey, and I would actually put it on the very bottom underneath this box. Um, and that way the bees could still access it if they wanted it. Um, and, uh, and, and you could put the sugar brick on top. So you can always move those boxes of honey if they don't have a lot of bees in them down to the very bottom and the bees can pull from it, you know, as they need it throughout the winter. But the cool thing is, I mean, <laughs> you probably can't see it in the video, but I mean, there's already bees all over these sugar bricks. So, I mean, they're already covering it. Uh, just from a couple of minutes. The bees really love them. It gives them something to do throughout the year. So it's a great tool for this time of year uh, when the bees need feed.